It leaves regulations up to each sports international governing body because they know their sport and they know their discipline the best. So boxers, these people, they know their sport. Boxing is brutal. So right there, okay, they know their sport and their discipline the best. IOC spokesman Mark Adams told reporters, I hope we all agree that we are not calling for people to go back to the days of sex testing, which was a terrible, terrible thing to do. This involves real people, and we're talking about real people's lives here. This is, it's almost like it's a joke, people, but it's not. This is not a joke. This, this is somebody wrote the shit interviewed these people and put this down here <laughs> it's completely absurd so what if you have a guy that back in the day 20 years ago 30 years ago good lord and he's trying to uh sneak into the women's run i mean shit I, maybe that happened and that's why they had to test people or check them Apparently, there's a reason why, back in the days, just like he said, I hope we all agree that we're not calling for people to go back to the days of sex testing, which we must have had to do it because men were trying to weasel their way in. Why would they not? Or a woman trying to compete against men, which I have no fathom no idea why they'd want to do that. The history of sex testing at Olympics is decades long and practices such as an invasive physical examination. Well, damn. Drop your drawers. I'm sure they have to get physicals anyway, right? So during their physical, blood testing, hair follicles, who the hell knows what they're doing? Make sure they're not, you know, taking steroids or whatever. That's just all part of the package. And obviously when they test your blood, they know what the hell you are. You can't hide that. So... This is, again, stupid. The history of sex testing at the Olympics is decades long and practices such an invasive physical examination have been exposed as abusive. Oh, my God. It's abusive. Damn. The IOC has recent years updated its policies to be more inclusive and doesn't require athletes to undergo medical unnecessary procedures or treatment, NBC News reported. <laughs> unnecessary. It is just unnecessary to do that. Guy walks in, 6'5", 300 pounds. You can call me Brenda. I'm entering the shock put. <laughs> what the fuck? 